All right, so a lot of you guys are asking, how do I modify the files inside of Game Hub Patched or Game Hub and Tutu Patch? Now, I'm going to show you. Go to Play Store, download files, this files. Once it's installed, select Open. You can hit the Menu button, and when you scroll down, you're going to see Game Hub. Since my Game Hub is the Antu2 version, you're going to see the package name com.antu2.abenchmark. So we're going to select it, and then select Data. From there, we're going to have Files. And there's a few things here. First, all the games you download from Steam inside Game Hub go into the Steam folder. Steam Apps, Common, and then they're all there. So if you need access to those files for whatsoever reason... Now you have access to them by using the patch versions of GameHub. Second, under User, Home, this is where your components are. This is where the compatibility layers like Protons and Wines are. This is also where your game containers are. So GameHub uses a game folder and then links them to the containers for the compatibility layers. That's how it swaps them out and doesn't lose your save files. So it's pretty interesting. Anyway, let's check out components. In components, you have your drivers, your box 64s, special game patches, as well as the DXBKs, VEX cores, pretty much anything that downloads except for a compatibility layer. So if you want to swap out, say, DXVK, 2.4.1.async, which I wouldn't do that version. I'd probably do the 0 0.96, but I don't have it on my phone right now. You would go in that folder and replace those two folders with whatever version you wanted to use. So if you wanted to put, you know, 2.7 in, you would download the 2.7 files, copy both folders from the 2.7 folder, hit the menu button, select copy to, and then make your way back to game hub where we just were so game hub data files user home components and then you would select the dxvk that you're replacing so since i'm not doing it i'm going to hit cancel so it would replace both of those folders the next time you select that version of game hub that you replaced it's going to use the version you replaced it with and if you want to copy like you know Let's say a driver out of here, like let's say a new Game Hub driver um, is in here for the 8 Elite. You can copy it out of there and move it to a folder where you could repackage it and use it for win later. On top of that, you want to back up anything you are going to replace because you do not want anything to break. So even if you're going to replace DXVK, you know, 0 0.96, let's say for instance you're going to click on it. You're going to select the menu button and compress it and then move it to a folder in case you ever need to restore those files. And that goes for anything you're going to modify, replace, edit. So always make a backup, including your game saves. So let's get out of this section here. We're going to go into containers. Now containers, can this is where your compatibility layers are. Protons and wines and things like that. Now to see what what folder is which, you would select a folder and click the metadata JSON. Selecting that to read it, that tells you, you know, number four. And my phone is Proton 10 x 641 Now, number three is Proton 9 x 64 So that's where those uh, compatibility folder layers are, you know. So if you make modifications inside of those, anytime you change a game, to one of those compatibility layers, it's a universal change. Virtual containers is where game folders are made. So, 8153, I believe this was my um, Black Myth uh, Wukong. Uh, so, 8153, if I click it, Drive C, Users, Steam User, App Data, Local, B, yep, so B1, there's B1. So, if I want to make a change to the config file, you just make your way all the way to where it's located. There's an engine I and I. If I want to remove certain aspects of the game, I can do so in here. Game user settings, there it is again. So you can see the engine I and I dot back for a backup. I've edited that file before. So if I go in there, I can actually, oh, I hit the wrong thing. So let me go back. Let me go here and you can see 
everything that I change has these little, you know, semicolons over here explaining, you know, I changed the render scale, I changed, you know, disabled water reflection, things like that, just trying to increase the performance of this game on my phone. So you can do a lot with the patched version of Game Hub. So I highly recommend making backups of anything that you modify. And I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If this was helpful, please drop a comment, hit a like, and hit that subscribe button for me. You guys have a great day.